Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a super realistic edible palm leaf. So love it or leaf it, I will make you a believer. <laughs> So for this leaf, I have 24 gauge light green floral wire, which is 14 inches long or about 36 centimeters long. And I will start by cutting several of these wires into three pieces. Each one will be about four to five inches long or about 12 centimeters long. I'm starting with two pieces of wire and I'm going to wrap the floral tape around them. And I'm, as I start wrapping the tape, around these two wires, I am going to keep adding pieces of wire so that each one is a little bit below the other. I do like to leave a good space in between each wire. That's gonna give it enough space for me to create the leaves eventually. So now I want my wires to be longer, so I am going to cut some more of my floral wire into two pieces each. So I will end up with um, each piece being about seven inches long or about 18 centimeters long. I'm continuing the same process until my palm leaf skeleton is as long as I want it to be. This is exactly what your skeleton should look like. Rice paper is the trick here. So I will start with two pieces and I cut each piece in half, diagonally, just like this. And I'm going to use two halves for the bottom and then the other two halves for the top. So now it is time to mix my green paint. I like to combine leaf green and jun juniper green or moss green with a good amount of vodka. I'm adding just enough to dilute it, but not enough so that the green loses its pigment when I'm painting over the paper. First, I'm going to paint the bottom paper and then I'm going to place the top paper on top of the other wet paper and I'm going to paint this as well. I'm gonna make sure that the paper gets very wet so that it starts to soften and it glues onto each other. I'm going to do this for both sides. And now, while the paper is still wet, I am carefully going to cut out each leaf around the wire. You have to be very careful here because if you pull the paper while it's not completely cut, then you're going to rip the paper off from the wire stems and then you're not going to have a very pretty leaf. So it takes patience and a lot of care to do this. So you repeat this process for every single wire that you have and that's it. Now that we have Oh, notice how I am putting some of these little containers on top of my leaves. That is because some of the wires are trying to stick out from the paper, so this is gonna keep them in place until they dry. And now that I have all of my leaves cut out, I am using a hair dryer to speed up the process of drying. Once it is completely dry, I am flipping this leaf over, and you see how the bottom part is still white? Now I'm going to paint it, but this time I want to be careful not to add too much paint because I don't want my leaves to soften again. So once I have painted both sides and both sides are dry, then we're done. And you have a really cool looking palm leaf. That looks really realistic. All right, this is it. It's super sturdy. You can move the leaves around and it seriously looks really realistic. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up and join me next week for another fun project. Bye.